When you set up your company, one of the things we consistently bang the drum about is to get your business bank account set up as quickly as possible. Without it, your business life instantly becomes more challenging and difficult. And so you, we want you to pick a financial institution that lets you get your business account set up as easily and as, as quickly as possible. So to give you a practical example of what's involved in terms of the process of getting a business account set up, today we're gonna to run through what the step-by-step the, the -step process is with WISE.com. Welcome back to the Basics of Business channel, everybody. And today we're gonna to take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial for what's involved in setting up a business account if wise.com. In our last video, we took you through the pros and cons of the various features of wise.com. So after you've watched this video, please go and check out that for our account, uh, account review. But for now, we're just gonna take you through what's involved step-by-step -step, uh, to set up a business bank account with wise.com. Just briefly about wise.com or TransferWise as it was originally called in 2011 uh, when it was, was set up and it was set up with the principal aim to ease the burden of international money transfer because uh, as everyone knows, whether you're uh, a member of the public or, or, or run a business or involved in a business, bank account fees for international money transfers have a long time been exorbitant in some instances. Um, and it's almost been seen as a bit of a cash cow, I think, for a lot of the, a lot of the banks. That is exactly the reason why I set up um, an account originally with with wise.com because we were being faced with hundreds of pounds of charges for much of our uh, income, which was coming in in, in dollars and Canadian dollars. And wise.com allows you to have, to, to send and transfer money, I think it's in 40 plus currencies, and also have bank accounts through wise, I think in, in nine different currencies, which essentially act, uh, lets you act like a local. Um, and when it comes to setting up uh, and getting access to a wise.com bank account, the first step is just simply either through through the app or uh, if you've got a personal account, you can go to the drop down and just see there, open a business business account or through the website itself, uh, you can just follow the links that we're showing there uh, to to get it set up and get the process going. Okay, so the, the first bit of this is uh, once you click on the link is entering an email address um, as is pretty standard clicking through, picking a country registration, which is the UK in our instance, uh, and entering a mobile phone number uh, to let you uh, them have a contact number for you and to send a security code uh, to set up the first uh, layer of security and protection uh, for both your application and then hopefully your account. Following on from there, there's then obviously setting up a, a unique password um, the stronger the better, as 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 ever, uh, just normal uh, security protocols. And moving on from there, then Wise.com are looking for details about the business, um, obviously to let them know uh, exactly who they're dealing with, uh, to give them an assessment of their risk. And one of the neat features here will be is there is a direct link to a company's house, which means you're not faced then with adding in all the extra details about the business, which um, you've already entered and, and given on numerous occasions so far. So it give, brings those details straight back from Company's House, which is, uh, which is a nice little time saver, uh, which is great. Confirming those details that then gives you a chance to update them should there be any tweaks. And again, looking then to give the category of the business and which where you fit in an areas, um, again, as they say there, to let you uh, verify uh, details about their business and the account that you're going that you're going to set up. Um, giving details of social media or website presence again to give them more uh, background and then a description of your business and the number of employees. The next element then is uh, more personal details about the the directors. And again, standard stuff: full name, date of birth, home address, etc. Um, as again, allow as part of WISE security checks. Um, and this, as I say, is just it's, it's standard and lets, and lets you complete it as normal to let them verify 
uh, your identity as it is, is stated in the business and will be held at company's house. Moving through there, then you can immediately choose the, the different types of bank accounts they want. And these are the, the nine um, currencies at the moment, which wise.com will let you through them hold uh, a bank account in that local, um, sorry, in that country, which will essentially let you act as a local um, for them. Uh, and then as I say, in our instance, we selected euros, um, pounds, dollars, and additionally added a Canadian uh, account um, and also they're just starting to flag, um, I think it's another 40 different currencies as well, in addition to those nine where you can act as a local, um, which uh, you can send and receive money. And then moving on from there, it just, again, is that first thing there, of which, is, which is unique to WISE in terms of the other accounts we looked at, is if that £45 opening fee, that's not some we've found elsewhere. There's obviously mount, monthly subscription fees, which are for other accounts. Um, however, this one-time opening fee is something that we find unique to WISE. Then obviously there are transaction fees as there are with other banks and e-money institution accounts um, later on from that. But as I say, that one-time opening fee is something that, uh, that is unique to WISE. Then after that fee is paid, the next part of the process is we then go through where WISE.com are asking for um, additional elements about the business and the purpose of what you're going to be using their account for, um, the options that are there. Uh, in our instance, it was it, we, it's for paying both suppliers and contractors and receiving uh, money for goods and services in, in multiple currencies, describing what your business does and the example that they provide there. And obviously you'll add in your own um, background description again to give them a better understanding of your business and adding to the, the information which we previously entered uh, earlier on in the process. Moving on from there, again we're confirming the, the business directors and the details that are there. WISE will use this to uh, confirm the details as it says that are filled in at company's house. Um, so then depending obviously we have two directors in this, in this company and just completing those details to let WISE.com uh, complete those checks and then after the confirmation of the business directors the next part of the process will be uh, uploading proof of identity um, for the for the account holders and different document types that you can do the passport driver's license national id etc and then this is where obviously within with the new fintech platforms of which which wise.com is, is still one you tend to find that these these elements of the process are much better and slicker uh, than they are um, for sometimes the more traditional banks um, using technology uh, as we see there being able to upload as I say passports or driver's license uh, very easily uh, to let you complete the, the process as, as quickly and as painlessly as possible. And there you go once that, that's uploaded that's everything they need and they, it will go straight and, uh, and go straight to their team to process the account. A very simple, straightforward process. Um, didn't take too long. I think it took us something between um, 10 and 15 minutes, uh, even with the various uploading of different documents, which is, uh, which is not too bad at all and made pretty easy um, through their online platform or through their app, uh, which is another way you can do it. There you go. Just a clear update in the process saying they're checking their documents as quickly as they can, should be done by the uh, by a certain time period. And as I say, I think it only took uh, one or two days for us to come back and to have our account. In terms of ease of opening, as we've seen, it is a straightforward process and, and one I have found to be, to be pretty painless. But that is, of course, a separate question as to whether Wise Account is right for your business. If you run an, an online business as I do, the capability and ease with which WISE can enable your company to receive and send international payments is great. You can also batch payments, integrate the account with your accounting and other software, give managed access to your team and with multiple dig digital cards. Uh, but there are definitely some minuses as well, which, which you should be clear on. We cover those minuses as well as other features of the WISE business account uh, in our other video, the WISE uh, business account review. So if you like this video, 
please hit the, the button on the screen and uh, we'll see you over there.